to protect my peace, I started realizing just by experience, okay, these are things I should care about. These are things I should not care about because these things affect me in this way and these things affect me in those ways. So just differentiating and going through things. I had to go through things to learn how to deal with things. Mm. So it was all a matter of just dealing with things. Every time something went to the blogs, or every time something I said went big and everybody hated it, you know, anytime those things happen, each time I'm learning something. Mm. So I'm taking what I'm learning and I'm applying it to my real life and now I can separate the two. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident make sure you call my guy top dog law that's top dog law on instagram and topdoglaw.com look if you check out his instagram you'll see he uploading big checks i mean like every day i ain't talking about the little ones the big ones so shout out to my guy top dog law topdoglaw.com get that money i know i'm trying to get it yes sir let's get it popping what's popping you know what time it is your boy j hill mr j hill podcast we here special guest i feel like um let's just keep bringing a guest on man i've been trying to get this girl for maybe like a year now at least like half you probably don't even know you lie no cap okay. no cap. let me see let's see i did i did call crawford interview like maybe a year ago i remember that I remember yeah that. and i was trying to get you for a long time um and it's crazy because it's like shit just kept happening you know as an interview i'm gonna be real with you like i'm like man i'm trying to i'm trying to get it get it in while i can you feel me yeah and i'm glad that we got in there so Everybody, Erica Banks is in the building. I'm in the building. She's for those who didn't hear him. Yeah, the, the the gang is here, man. So um, I have a few questions for you. But yeah, like I was saying, I was trying to get you for a long time, and um, you just told me your age. I won't disclose it on camera. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm saying it I mean, it's all good. You I young? Mean, really? Super young. What? Okay, I'm young. I'm you not s- super young. Bro, you said I'm old as dirt. You are. That's right. So if I'm old as dirt, you young as old. That's a compliment. I mean, I'll take that. I'd rather be young than be. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it. It's all good. I'll take it. How you feeling though? Like how how is how is life treating you? How is how is this industry treating you? I mean, <clears throat> it ain't my friend or nothing. Mm. <laughs> but it is great. Mm. I have been having a great time lately. Everything been going good smoothly. So It feels feel good, good to be me. in like a good space right now. It feels great to be in a good space. Mm, 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 mm. When you say it ain't your friend, like what do you mean by that? I mean, I don't think it gets any clearer than that. Like the mm. industry is just not a friendly place, you know, at least everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm. There may be some areas that are friendlier than others, but for the most part, we're not here to all be friends, are we? No, I mean, I be wanting to, though. I, ain't I mean, to. I be wanting to, you yeah, know? Yeah, you from down south, so it's like... You, you know, I'm think, a people person. Yeah, you would think that, yeah, like... Yeah, but everybody is not from the south. Everybody's uh, not southern. Did it kind of turn you off, like, because, like... I mean, as a person, yeah. Naturally, yeah, because I'm human, so some things turn me off. Mm-hmm. But, you know, once you realize that shit is what it is, it's kind of like you just... At one point, then you realize that. that. Um, maybe like my first year in, because mm-hmm. I was getting used to everything. I was getting used to people, meeting new people, being around a lot of people. So, And I'm an energy person, mm-hmm. so when I pick up on energy, you know, if it's a bad energy, if it's a weird energy, it's like, damn, people really like that. So. See, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like in this interview space, it's hard for me because like I just call it out. I don't care. You just gonna say how you feel? Yeah, I, I should though. It's like because like I'm gonna burn bridges because I gotta interview these people. So you don't care about being politically correct? No. Oh, okay. I mean, but again, that's but that but in hindsight, right? I've been talking about this recently. It's easier for me to say that because I'm not like as popular as you yet, right? What so, do you like, mean? A lot. So like for example, you had a few things, right? Instances that happened on the internet and. And that's something I want to talk about. You having to grow up kind of like on the internet, right? And, and yeah. being famous. That's totally different from like a n- that's trying to get it. I'm being straight up. To, I'm being, like, I know I'm lit. I'm going to be lit. You know what I mean? Like, my mistakes ain't going to be as publicized or like under a microscope. Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, it's easy for me to be like, yeah, being politically right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I don't want to be unfair to like what you going through. You know what I'm trying to say? Because, yeah. like, that can be kind of like, like, I had some decorum, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, yeah. So, man, having said that, you've been through so many things, and 
you being so young, do you feel like, do you ever, have you ever felt like at one point in time, it's like, damn, bro, I just want, like, I just want to be Erica. I mean, yeah, I feel like everybody feel like that. Mm. But speaking for me, yeah, I still feel like that a Some lot of times. Some people like that. I mean, well, I mean, not everybody, <laughs> no, I but, Some people like that. You know, that. but me personally, yeah, it's been a lot of moments where I've been like, damn, I just want to be me. Mm. Like, damn, I just want to make music. Or damn, I ain't come here for all this, you know, but unfortunately, you know, what I do comes with that. So mm. I just kind of accept it and just, you know, take it for that. You had to have some people in your corner to like t teach you that. Cause that's, I feel like that's something that, that don't just come overnight. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my parents, you know, they would always be the first people to like, if anything would go viral, you know, maybe in a negative light, they mm -hmm. would always see me and be like, hey, don't get on the internet, say this, Erica, don't get mm -hmm. on there talking crazy. Cause I know, duh, 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 duh. cause normally I would, you know what I'm saying? Glad I've outgrown that, but normally I would. So, yeah, it was my parents who always just kept me grounded mm. with the whole social media thing. You said you was big on um, energy. What's your son? Libra. Yo, Libra. Mm. I don't really know too much about Libras. What's your son? I'm a Gemini. Oh. What you got to say? Go ahead. Go I mean, ahead. I didn't have nothing bad to say. I just right. know a lot of Geminis. Okay, because everybody And they real, they real sneaky people. We sneaky? Yes. That's I just crazy. cut off a Gemini. It's horrible. You just, who you just cut off? A friend. <laughs> okay, I'm about to say, because I don't, like, <laughs> mind you, like, I'm straightforward, so anything I have to say, I'm going to tell you, just letting you know right now. Okay. But now, I don't, you think we sneak, that's crazy, that's a, I don't. Um, that's not crazy, that's facts. I'm very old and open to my sh So I'm you ain't, you. okay, so do you lie? I don't, nah, I, that's not my thing. You said that too, like. Nah, what I will say is, now, a few years back, like five, six years ago, I used to omit the truth. I don't okay. think that's lying, but I mean, some people say it's lying, so I mean. It, it is, because if, okay. if you're not saying what's really happening for real, it's kind of like. If you ain't like, asking me the right or questions. Or if you're leaving something out. And if you ain't asking me the right questions, then I ain't going to answer. Okay, well, I ain't going to ask you shit. <laughs> no, I'm f***ing you. So, um, Libra, big on energy. Um, speaking of, going back to the internet, because what I want to do is I want to, like, pretty much highlight how far you came in. But in, in, in order to do that, right, we got to talk about the shit you came through. Mm -hmm. Right, I think um, if you Google your name, is a lot of touchy things. Yeah, it is, but that's why we don't speak on it. So, how do we see that you've grown? By watching my Instagram, by following mm. me on Instagram, by seeing the difference in my posts, um, the difference in my interviews like these, which people will see. Right, you know, so it's all over the internet. When it comes to growth, um, and I'm glad that that kind of happened. I think I personally like that. Like, I don't take it personally like that. But I feel like when it when we talk to celebrities and people of like yourself i feel like sometimes in order to understand what how a person grow you gotta be able to show them like the mistakes you make you know what i'm saying right if that makes sense yeah. and and again if you disagree you could speak up you feel me like like no, like, I'm not oh, one of them. You feel me? Like, I'm know, not one of them. I and I'll, I'll I take know, anything out. you feel me like yeah this ain't that and you'll see uh, you'll see you feel me like anything we talk about the show one in we can scrap it i'm not that pressed for the like the clickbait so i'm really oh, yeah, going to talk to you though all right, my so I just want to talk to you as a person. So, like, a lot of times, like, even PR, they'll say, like, don't talk about this, don't talk about that. And I say, I think it's so unfortunate because that's really the only way we see somebody grow. Like, right, like saying, like, yo, you know what, I did this. And, like, you know, at, at one point in time, I might have been in this space. Or at one point in time, I might have been going through this. And, like, I grown from that. And I mm -hmm. learned from that. You feel me? But when, yeah. when, we, when we don't talk about these things, I'd be curious, and maybe you can answer, why don't we want to talk about the things that you've been through when there's so much room for growth in that conversation? Um, I feel like as a person, you don't owe the world anything. Mm. Um, I don't owe the world um, an explanation or why I did this or why I said that. And that's why I just kind of leave it where it's at, mm. you know, because at the end of the day, I know that I'm growing. People that are for me know that I'm growing. People that follow me know that I'm growing. People that don't follow me and don't even care for me know that I'm growing. And that's mm. why they check into my page even today. So, with that being said, I feel like if I decide not to expose something or show something or talk about something, that's what I decided to do because at the end of the day, that's in life. <laughs> no, nah, facts. And, and, yeah. and, and that's, that's good. Up. I think, um, with me, I think that is true. I was talking to the girl, uh, Zanique, whatever, and she was I saying, like, her. she was basically saying, like, it's so hard to have her story and be public because even if she says something positive, the media, the people, they're going to take it and spend it. Right? And I understand that. Zanique? Yeah. I don't know why they would have said that. What? Damn. what? We got into some shit. Damn. I, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, I took some shit and everything. I gave my word. You feel me? Like, yeah, but I, I say that to say, like, and I was talking to her and I was saying, like, that is true and that's so unfortunate to be in a position like that because it's things that people will take 
against you, right? Mm-hmm. But what about the other side of like, it's a little girl that's that probably will make the same mistakes that you made. And if you spoke up to her, if that's an Erica Banks fan, she can learn so much from it. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. just about you speaking on the things that you've been through. Like, I feel like it's so, who are we to be selfish with our story? That's, that's what I say a lot of times. Have you ever thought about it like that? I feel that. I mean, it's a lot of parts of my story that I wouldn't mind sharing or talking about or, you know, putting people in the light of, but it's also things that I do mind Mm. people knowing about or being in the face of. So I'm only going to show people in the world what I want them to see or Mm. be exposed to, you know. That's good. And that's not going to be everything ever. Facts. That's good. That's talking about, like, basically, like, setting your boundaries. Yeah. Right. How do you set, how do you, or how have you learned to set your boundaries being this big time star and celebrity? Um, just dealing with people in general, like even just friends, you know, me and my friends have boundaries too. And it just comes from experience, you know, being too nice, being too mm. lenient, being too welcoming, you know, I've learned. So mm. I learned that the difference is my peace. You know, mm. I have a lot more peace when I have boundaries versus when I don't. So I feel like everybody should have boundaries, but mm. I definitely have them. Do you, do you find yourself sometimes having to like <sighs> move in a way where it's frustrating and you don't feel like it's peace, but for in the long run, it will bring peace? Absolutely. I mean, because in other words, you really saying, are there days that I'm doing shit that I really don't want to do because mm. I know that it's going to work out later? Yes. Mm. Every day, all the time. But more of the times I am intrigued and, you know, in tune and inside and excited more than I am not, you know, so, yeah. Where are you mentally right now? Um, I'm in a great space mentally, I feel like, right now. You know, I've been getting up every day, doing something, being active. Whenever I'm active and just consistent, I'm happy. I'm in a good Mm -hmm. space. Now, when I'm more down, I ain't really promoting, posting nothing. I'm probably, I don't know if it ain't some motion. But lately, I've been good. I'm on a good rail. I'm in a good stride. So Why, though? Why Why would? Why are you in a great space? Why are you in this good space? I mean, it's been a process to work up to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, since I've been working up to it, I just finally got to a moment where, Everything is great. You mm-hmm. know, like I just dropped my single. We charted top five on iTunes the first day. You know, it's moving fast. People love it. I'm filming for TV. I'm getting into my cooking thing. Like, I have a lot going on. So, mm-hmm. I got a lot to be excited about. No, facts. The single, it's funny, I was just listening to it. Um, it sounded a little different. Mm-hmm. Did you do that intentionally, or am I just out of the loop? And of course, uh, yeah, you could be real. You could, you could be like, nah, Jay. You yeah, I wouldn't say I did it intentionally. Fine. I was just going through beats, and there was a beat that I happened to like because I like all types of music. Mm. So when I heard the beat, I was like, this is cute. I wonder if it'll sound cute if I put something on it. Let me make sure I got it right first of all. We yeah, talking about? Yeah, don't don't be lying. Ain't got time, right? Got, yeah, let's right. See. Yeah, I listened to let it. But see. come on, bro. Okay, period. I ain't even put no search. Listen, listen, bro, I'm really. I had to make sure because you said you don't be lying. I don't, bro. I'm not. I'm not one of them. Like, I'm, you feel me? Like, okay, I'm cool. Like, I charge my my L to the business. game. But when I say it sounds different, because like usually we hear or I've hear, and again, I might just be a part of like the general population. I usually hear like dance music, right? No, am I I'm wrong with that? I'm, I would say skate, skate, skate music. I mean, dance music too, more so skate. All right, well, that might be so a culture skate. thing. And me, for me, is like dance. I mean, right? you like, could say dance. People still dance with it. Toot that? That's good. I mean, toot that is more dance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, well, whatever. Okay. Tomatoes. All right, right. So, usually, but when I heard this, I'm like, it's kind of like a slowed down, like almost melodic yeah. singing type of vibe, right? I'm it's sure. different for me. Yeah. It's definitely different for me. And usually, when people do something different, they in a space that, like, I don't know, they're trying to go somewhere else and that's why I'm trying to pick your brain like what you yeah I'm really just trying new sounds you know I tell people all the time I'm not just the busted girl or the tooth that girl like I have a variety of sounds you mm-hmm. know so it was just a new sound that sounded great I liked it my team liked it everybody around me liked it so I put it out and everybody liked it mm. so great now the next record I don't know it might not sound like that it might be totally rap or it might be R&B or it might be I don't know but yeah. it's doing great, so. Now, I was so. curious because, like, usually, like, when you get introduced to somebody, they they try their hardest to, like, get out of that box. They feel like they boxed in, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And me, I'm just curious, like, man, shit, if it's working, why well, change it? Like, that's what I think. I mean, yeah, but you don't want to be, or, well, I don't want to be just known for one sound. You know, I can't speak for anybody else, but me personally, I want to be known for a lot of different sounds. You know, melodic, rap, R&B, pop, you know, maybe a little country one day if I just 
want to try something new. So it. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, me ask you this: Is your your family rich? My family? Yeah. No, nah, my family is not rich. I wish they was. What, what, I would have had an easier start if they was. What type of background you came from? Um, my family was like, what do you call it? What's in the middle? Middle class? I guess I don't know. Okay, I, well, I I'm going to say, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say growing up, we was like middle class. We was right there in the middle. We weren't okay. rich, but we ain't have it just bad either. I say that because it's like, if one thing going to make you rich, why not? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, like some people are lucky to have rich families, you know, especially if they want to do music, they can start tomorrow and go no, up. Thanks. Now, yeah. now, I was asking like, if shit, if, if, if everybody's trying to get out this one box, right, they don't want to be known for one thing. And I'm like, shit, if that one thing going to well, I mean, everybody millions, don't think like this. Some people cool for just, you know. Being up for one thing. Some people don't care to just go all out. I'm tight, bro. You got me looking crazy. You drinking out the regular glass, bro. I mean, no, that's cool. what you want. It's cool. It's cool. You did your whole thing. It's, it's right cool. There. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. It's cool. Mm-hmm. It's funny because, like, I thought, um, I honestly, I f- the U and B King collab. Y'all did it. Did like that was two that. Yeah, y'all did two two things, right? Um, we did. Come on, bro. I feel Come like on. the other record, he was just on the hook. It wasn't really his song for real. Okay. You talking about the Dem Girls record? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So he was on the hook of, I, I mean, I'm dead, but. Song, what? I know a little song. Bro. Okay, I, I didn't know you were stepping into my yeah, music yeah. like this. Nah, you I mean, named the songs I did two years ago. You okay. feel me? I feel like, honestly, I thought that would be a dope collab for a project, like a whole project together. Me and B King, the whole project? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Would be I'm going to mention that to him and see what he say. Also, I don't know if you put um like New Orleans bounce music. I love twerk music, bounce music. That whole see, like sound that is like. It's a guy named uh, what is his name? Flyboy Nino or some shit like that. Yo, I th- I probably like, seen him, but don't know his name. Bro, but I probably seen him. Yo, that's I feel like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Not you feel name. like I sound good? Like what? something like that? That's the route you want me to go? Okay, like, that's the I? idea. Nah, who am I? I'm not saying that's the route. No, I mean that's, that's an idea. idea. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, man. so next time I go to the studio, I'm gonna get on a new one. This how was the uh, how was the process of making music now? Are you still around? Like the same people are is, is is recording by yourself. Is it changing with everything that that has happened? Um, no, I record the same way. Mm. Just me and the engineer. I don't care for a group in there or like you have it party? packed out. Uh, I just like me and the engineer. For real, it's peaceful that way. Mm. Yeah. So I've been doing that since I started. So nothing has really changed other than the engineer. Because I mean, I was living in Dallas at one point. Then I was living in Houston, and now I live here. So. Mm. Only difference is the engineer, but I still do it the same way. Okay, I want to tap. I still want to tap into the history, man. Yo, you uh, you been young as you are, right? And we talk about like growing up in front of everybody. What was the hardest part of that? The hardest part of that, mm, the hardest part of that was, I guess, accepting that everybody is not gonna like me. Mm. You know, because when you come into something like this, at least for me, you come into thinking that. Everybody's gonna like you and they don't, you know, and that's okay. But that was like the biggest like reality check for me. I was mm. like, damn, everybody don't like me, damn. Oh, facts. But yeah, you learn to just accept it, you know, and just be okay with it. Cause like now it's like, or you learn to cope with it. Keep it on it. I feel like both. Mm. I feel like both. You learn to cope with everything. Oh, Anything that happens, you gonna learn to cope with it. So I would say it's both. Yo, I'm um. Can you get this from you? You don't have to answer to nothing like that. I just want to get it out. It's cute. It's kind of like oh, annoying. Oh, you break your screen. Like you broke your screen. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't. That was kind of rude. Like, it was loud. It was like vibrant. It was loud. I ain't even hear it. Okay. I heard it, so I ain't want to oh, be. You, you know what I'm saying? I got respect for you. That's but, respectful um, of you. But yeah, so um, I say that because, like, I'm 31, right? And I feel like even now, like, when you're a good person, every, when somebody say, like, I don't care what nobody think of me, like, I'm like, ah, I can't say that. Because I, I want to be known as a good person. Like, I, I want I want to be able to do it. I'm 50 50. You for real? Why, like how? I fifty percent because you care and I fifty percent don't. But I feel like that's your legacy, like your name. Like I care to a certain extent. Let me say this. What's the extent? Fifty percent. Right. Like, but what? 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 Where does that line is drawn? Right. So for me, right, I might not never see you again, right. But I know that if you leave my interview with a good experience, that good experience can travel to somebody else, to somebody else, to somebody else, and that's the same. We're not even just you. Like, I get per- what you're saying. Yeah, run a person on the street. I want them to see that. Oh, nah, a good dude is a respectable. He's a good dude. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So when you say fifty percent, where where the is it other fifty percent is me not living to impress people. That's the other fifty percent for sure. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because that's kind of what it all boils down to. Like, do you really care about what these people think about you? Like, mm-hmm. are you trying to make them feel? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or do you love yourself enough to not care what they're talking about? Mm. Now, how are you able to differentiate the 50% of, like, not trying to impress what people are saying, but also having 
a partial ear, I'm not gonna say a whole ear, like a partial ear to the streets of when what they're saying and being able to learn from that though. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. It depends on what they're talking about. Mm. It depends on the importance of what we're talking about. You know, if they're talking about what I had on yesterday, mm -hmm. that's not something I care about. But if they're talking about me not having substance in my music, then it makes me kind of reanalyze my music. Like, hold on. Mm. Let me go listen to my music real fast and make sure. You know, that's something I would maybe think about for real. But something small like what I had on or what my hair looked like or anything physical, you know, is not something I would just take to heart and be like, I need to fix this. No, facts. How often are you reading the comments? I was just talking to somebody earlier about how I really don't read the comments anymore. I really don't. Now, I'll come across the post. Of course, I'll see it or somebody will send it to me. Depending on what it is, I may read the comments. Or if I don't want my peace disturbed, I won't. No, facts. So, now, yeah. it's, it's crazy because, like, you got to go through some shit to even know that. You right? do. Like, <laughs> you got to go through some it shit to know that. It would disturb the fuck out your peace if you let it. But no. I don't let it. So. No, facts. The, when the last time do you think the internet really, like, got you in your feelings? If you think? Mm, got me in my feelings? Yeah. I'm trying not to go too detailed. so. I wouldn't say it got Come me in my on. feelings. Now you don't got no feelings? Now it made me feel a way. I ain't going to say I was just down and sad. We're not going to make me seem like no simp. I'm not no simp. Bro, ain't nothing wrong with having feelings. No, nah, it's not. But the way you said that just made it seem like I was just down and out about something. I ain't never what's, down Even if out. you was, what's wrong with that? That's not who I am. Okay, cool. I mean. Yeah, yeah so yeah. the last time I felt a way about something, I would say, was of course it would have to be the Nicki Minaj situation. Mm. Do you remember that? You got to tell me. Um, okay, so long story short, Nicki Minaj disagreed with something that I said, and she blocked me. And my feelings was hurt. And that's like, to me, Nicki Minaj is like the world. You know what I'm saying? As a rap girl. Sheesh. So I was like, oh, my God, sister blocked me. So it was a big moment for me that kind of made me just kind of like sink in a little bit. Did that? Did you ever get over it? Or not yet? I still hadn't gotten over it because I'm still blocked. Bro, she be blocking everybody. It's like, she bro, do, but they don't make you mistake. feel better. Like, right. It's like, they you can't don't. make a mistake, bro. Like, come on, dog. Like, I mean, yeah, that's how I feel. But so I wait, mean, what did you say that you disagree with? I agree with what someone else had said. Mm -hmm. I was just agreeing with the statement that somebody else did. Did they say made. something about her or something? Yeah. I really don't know, I promise. If you, we yeah, they, they made a statement about Nicki Minaj. What they say? We can cut it off if you want. I don't care. Yeah, we're not going to go that far. That's fine. I mean, you can say it, I'm saying, but we cut it off. No, we're not going to go that All right, far. cool, whatever, whatever. All right, so he said something about Nicki Minaj. You agreed. And, and I agree, and Nicki Minaj did not like that I agree. So I understood it. I was like, I mean, well, it's hard to understand why. After you think about something, you kind of be like, well, yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, I still let him win our show. Damn, son, did you try to reach out and like apologize or something? I mean, yeah, but it ain't work. <laughs> yeah, facts. I would get somebody else. I would find out whoever who she you follow. gonna get to do it. Whoever she follow, that you follow. Whoever that's. Reach. Whoever that she followed, that you got somebody number, I'm like, yo, tell Nicki Minaj you won't even like that. You feel me? Like, I probably was just That's what half sleep or some shit like that. Me, I, listen, I'm not like you. you know, I care. I give a fuck about, I, I'm an empath sometimes. So, like, yeah, if somebody got me fucked up and I ain't mean it, I'm going out my way to apologize. I'm going out my way to tell them it was not like that. And, and make, but a lot of people not like that. A lot of people got pride, ego. You feel me? That's cool. But, yeah. Bro. I don't care. That makes you a good person if you would have did that. I mean, I try, but still, people going to feel how they want to feel. And well, I mean, that's life. Nah, no cap, as, as we learn. So, going back to you growing up on social media, like, the hardest part was understanding that everybody's not going to get you. Right. So, as many times you felt misunderstood. Yeah. What did you do from that, though? Um, I just really started to protect my peace at that point. That's when I learned how to differentiate what I should care about and what I shouldn't when it no, comes no, to... No, no, don't give me that. No, no, no. What? No, no, no. 
What are you asking it's a, me? It's a, it's a young lady, right? Right. Who's growing up on social media right now. Right. She doing some things. She Let's say everything that happened to you, without saying getting into it, right? Everything right. that happened to you is happening to her. She got to understand that, you know, she got to understand how to protect that piece. She got to understand that everybody's not going to get her. She got to understand. Yeah, but I'm, are you saying I should, like, I'm saying voice give it, that to the, like. No, I'm saying get, if you was giving game to this young lady, what would you say? Not just I had to find my piece, but, like, what was it that, how, how did you find your piece? Maybe it could help for her. Maybe she could find her piece in the same way you found your piece. What was it exactly? Well, I was getting to that. Mm, okay. Yeah. And then you cut me off. But I was saying, yeah, it's cool. I was saying to protect my peace, I started realizing just by experience, okay, these are things I should care about. These are things I should not care about because these things affect me in this way and these things affect me in those ways. So just differentiating and going through things, I had to go through things to learn how to deal with things. Mm. So it was all a matter of just dealing with things. Every time something went to the blogs or every time something... I said it went big and everybody hated it. You know, anytime those things happen, each time I'm learning something. Mm. So I'm taking what I'm learning and I'm applying it to my real life and now I can separate the two. Mm. This comes out today of me and it's negative. I'm gonna scroll past it, I'm not gonna read them comments. Something positive is posted about me. I'm gonna read the comments and I'm gonna post it and feed into it. You know, so I can only speak on what I've been through. But at the same time, I'm not a teacher either. I'm not here to teach people how to deal with life you know what i'm saying because mm. y'all know you said you referred to me speaking to a young lady and telling her you know how to deal with things i didn't become a rapper to be a teacher so i can't guarantee y'all that i'm going to be a, a great light or a great image or a great example i would love it if i could be a great example to the i mean to young women but i cannot promise you that i'm gonna grow up and be you know this big perfect star that you know maybe young girls think i'm supposed to be no right does that make sense no it does i I mean i get it 100 percent um i'm just trying to understand we said i'm not a teacher i feel like a lot of times but they say happy the head to wear the crown you know what i'm saying like yeah you might not have asked for this but you are in this position where you got a lot of people looking at you and you are a role model even if you don't want to be right and that's what i'm saying like either way i'm gonna be a role model but i'm not gonna be sitting here trying to just perfect myself because I know I'm a role model. I'm still mm. going to be myself and do things how I would do them. And I'm still going to do what make me happy. Mm. So people just got to take it a little bit. Or, you know, I hate it a little bit or whatever. No, in fact, you said something that I thought it was uh, super dope. Like, a lot of times, um, especially with, like, social media, we talk about don't read in the comments. Don't read the comments and shit like that. But differentiating the negative and the positive. Because sometimes you got to see that positive. You do. Right? Like, even if you don't read the comments, you don't see nothing. Right. Right. But I think it's dope that like you can be like, you know what? I know this is going to take me here. I don't want that energy in my life. You feel me? Mm -hmm. This is something positive. This is going to rejuvenate me for like a better words. And this is going to make me feel good. And I might need that energy right now. And I think that's super important. I feel like people should do that. I mean, it just goes back to the 50 50 thing. Mm. It just depends on what the post is about in general. Like, what does this post even say? Does it say something negative? If it says something negative, the comments are probably negative. Mm. If it's something that's kind of like, ah, it's not that bad. Just some people might not like it. Then I'll read the comments. Because mm. it do be people that be supporting. Like, it's people in the comments like, nah, I love Erica. Or, nah, I rock with her. Or, you know, it's more great comments than it is bad. It is. And, and that's unfortunate because, like, even, like, just being a fan of people, right? Like, I feel like it's so unfortunate because so many celebrities respond to the negative more than they do the positive and it's so much more positive it's like i almost gotta say some negative think about it even i mean i'll say it. you don't have to say it, but even like the fact that like nikki will block you because something hurt her feelings you probably said so many positive things about her it's like you probably that's i'm a fan of her so many times it's like bro people can acknowledge the bs more than they acknowledge was really good and that's that shit is fucked up i think in my mind I mean, everybody is their own person. You know, you can't really be mad at how people react to things because everybody's not you. So everybody's not going to think like you. I had to realize that, too. Like, everybody doesn't think how I do. Mm. So some things that people might get offended by that I do is because of who they are. Mm. You know, and we're two different people. So yeah. everybody's just their own person. Yeah, you grow up more than me because I be in my feelings. Like, oh, you got to grow up. I got to grow gotta up, and I'm okay that. with that. Shit. I be, but I, be, I tell people all the time, like, me being in my feelings is the, is the motivation, is the drive to my, like, my passion to be honest like mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm stay in my feelings like fuck it I don't give a fuck I'm gonna stay there okay I can't rock with you <laughs> that's gonna help me that's that's what helped me be a good person in my, my opinion me being in my feelings because like if I didn't care I wouldn't care how I how I, I mean you can care without being in your feelings what's the difference caring is caring and being in your feelings is taking it too deep what's that what's too deep if you in your feelings you sad ain't you 
Not necessarily. Uh, okay, now you lying. You said you nah, don't lie. Not necessarily. I don't think so. If you ain't your feelings, you don't got to be sad. I can just acknowledge that. I'm in my feelings about something. I can, if you say something that 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 that, that rubbed me the wrong way, I can acknowledge that. You know what? That hurt my feelings. But if I, can, I say I'm in my feelings, I'm technically saying that I'm sad. Okay. That's okay. just me. Maybe okay. we feel like yeah, we got yeah, two different it's, meanings in. It's cool. It's okay. cool. I get it. You be sad. I don't be sad, bro. It's all good. <laughs> you, know, you see, first of all, you pour it up from the glass. You have me looking I'm, like a little I'm just chicken. telling you what I'm what I'm observing. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. You got it. So what's the difference between, like, you know, regular Erica and, like, this star that, that it is now? Like, What's when, the difference? Yeah. When did you see, like, the change that you had to... You had to start moving more intentionally. Um, when I would go out in public and like people would really know who I am for real, mm. and I would like be by myself. I like go to the store by myself or go to the nail shop get something to eat, normal shit. And I started realizing like, damn, people really recognize me and really want to take pictures and really want to talk and really are fanned out. Damn. I mean, I don't care, mm -hmm. but like my mom and dad would be like, you shouldn't be going out by yourself here. Cause like at this point, like it's just. You just can't do that no more. And I'm like, why not? Like, mm. I still look at myself like a regular person, you know? Mm. I still move. In certain, I mean, situations, I move like a normal person. Mm. Now, when it's time to move like Erica Banks, I move like Erica Banks. But on a regular daily basis, like, I go get something to eat by myself. So that was probably at the moment where I was kind of like, okay, shit is starting to, like, do its thing. <laughs> Level up. When did yeah. I take you home? Um, I go home pretty often. Last time I was in Dallas, probably about a month ago. You feel it like you feel the love there? I know it gotta be crazy. It's always love in Dallas. Like especially from the DJs. Like the DJs in Dallas show me so much love. The Even clubs. before you blew up? Yeah, like they supported my shit. Like they spun it, like had me on um like open mics all the mm. time, like just showcasing my shit. Like Dallas, like love me. I love nah, that's Dallas. crazy. Nah, I know the hometown love gotta be different, man. Yeah. Yo, I got um you got you got the single going on. What else you got coming up? So I have the single going on. We shot the video. It's out. Next, we're getting ready to do like a promo tour just to promote the song. Um, I have TV that I'm filming right now. I'm filming for Love and Hip Hop. Oh, my. So that's exciting. Um. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Come What'd on, What you finna say? You mean to tell me you going to come up here. We talking. You don't want to talk about nothing, but you going to Love and Hip Hop. They going to expose everything. Not really. Not, they going to only see what I want them to see. You really think I'm gonna like? No. That's what everybody say before it go crazy. No, no, I'm different. I'm a different kind. Everybody of Everybody say the same thing. My life gonna be the same. It's gonna be the exact same. It's just on camera for a little bit. Bro, they gonna find a way to finesse. Now, I'm not gonna let them do it. Shit? I'm not gonna let them do me like that. Uh uh. What you gonna do? What you, tell me. So again, so somebody can learn because you, you must heard. not know who you talking to. I'm talking to Erica Banks. No, I don't you know you personally, but I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to get to know you. Shit, we, this is our first I time I can meeting. tell because you don't know me enough. You saying that. I know. I'm trying to figure out. But I know I've interviewed many people who, who did the uh, the um, Love and Hip Hop thing. And they, they talk about, like, you know, going in. Like, for example, Omaretta, right? I talked to Omaretta. She was like, yo, going there, they said they want to just highlight me and my mom. Something like that. Like, and, like, me rapping and shit. Mm. And she left because she was like, bro, they was on some bullshit. You been basically like, yo, it ain't, that ain't mm. what they was on and that's not me. And I'm like, I feel like they got a track record of, of everybody knowing, should know the MO at this point. I mean, I feel like with my situation, it's different. Going back to what I said earlier, everybody's different. We're not the same people, mm. you know? So with me, I have just a lot of great things going on. Like, I don't have any drama in my life, so which is crazy. I mean, it's me, but I don't have any drama in my so life. So what's, 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 why am I going to tune in to watch you if you don't have no drama? Because most people that watch it want to see drama. Because you want to see Eric Banks on TV, that's why. And you want to see what I'm doing. And you're going to be in my business, whether it's drama or not, because I'm going to still mm. be showcasing what I'm doing. Mm. Mm. So give me some excuses. What you going to be doing? You got to watch the show. I'm not watching the show. Okay. But I well, promote people to watch the show. I want people to watch the show to support Why would you, you promote people to watch the show and then not watch the show? Because I want to support, support you. You can't support me and not watch the show. I can listen to your music. I could I could put your music. Oh, you want to support me in other ways? I could put your music on a um on a on an iPhone and, and and go to sleep and let the shit play all night. That's support. I that sound like a hater. Huh? That is a hater. How is that a hater? Why would you not want to watch it? Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no yeah. way you think that's a hater. I think that's a hater. That's, that's not, not like something a hater would say. What? Because yeah, I don't watch it. On. I'm gonna turn it on, but I ain't gonna watch it. That's a. Mm. That must be the age gap. Because me, that's support. Turn my podcast on and just let it play. Let let all this shit play. Even if you don't. But you're not gonna to sit down and tune in and really to love and hip hop. No. In the, no okay, me. well, mm. you ain't enough of a fan for me. Nah, I love it. But I'm a, I support your music. I was just telling them I fuck with the music. I just told you I like the music. What's your favorite Eric Banks song? I mean, I like the dance shit. So I like to that. You feel me? Like I like I like that. I'm just being honest. Okay. Like, you feel me? Like 
I don't. Okay. I think nowadays, especially, we've been having this conversation going around. Like, women are definitely like coming into that bag with the music thing, but I feel like, like I'll listen to the to the female rappers and shit like that. But like, I probably won't ride around in the car bumping and shit like that. I mean, I feel that, but like, if you like it enough, you will. I mean, I can't see you riding around bumping too thick, but I got other songs you could listen to. Like, if you just tap in, you know, that, that ride in the car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like on some projects, I got a couple of projects out. So on your free time, you should go check Tell it out. Tell me the name. I'm gonna check it off for a minute. Um, you should check out Erica Banks by Erica Banks. Mm-hmm. That was uh the mixtape before the last. The latest one is called Diary of the Flow Queen. It's a couple of records on there you might like. But yeah, if you just go to Apple Music and type in Erica Banks, like oh this mm-hmm. shit gonna come up like I think it's um talking about the music, right? You come in, you wanna grow, you wanna talk about a lot of things, that's cool. Do you feel like the music is the way for you to talk about them things that you might not wanna talk about on your everyday? I guess. Absolutely. That's mm-hmm. what music is. Mm. Music is thoughts. Music is poetry. Music are, or music can be feelings, you know? Mm. So it's all of that in one. I haven't gotten to the point to where I'm just being super vulnerable in my music, at least in releasing it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I am interested in going that route just to kind of be more transparent. It's crazy because even then, like, they, they're doing things f- for, for it to be hard to do that, right? Like, they judging people music and shit, like, yeah. hip hop police type shit. Like, it's hard to be a um, uh, music artist at this point. It is. It's just a strategical thing. You just have to learn how to use your strategies the right way. Mm. Well, I fuck with it, man. You got uh, Love and Hip Hop. What else you got coming on? Um, I mean, other than that, I'm just working. Mm. You know, I'm still working. I'm always working. You know, if, I mean, after I ain't got time to follow up, we'll have a single after that. Mm. Video with that. You know, a couple of collabs coming. Like I said, I'm getting into my cooking situation. I'm wanting to publish a cookbook. That's so, hard. yeah, I have a cooking page. People are tapping into that more and really being interested. So my next thing is um, a cooking event. I'm going to do a tasting event here in Atlanta. So, yeah, just growing my brand. You did an interview with somebody that was on a cooking show. Sierra. Yeah. I'm loving hip-hop. It was like, I forgot the name of the show, but I was watching that Ghetto too. Girl Eats? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the, the spark of that? Or no, you've been wanting to do that. You went on that because you wanted to showcase like, what I was Sierra? Well, yeah. she invited me. It was right. her first episode ever. We had just met um, on the set of Love and Hip Hop, so it was just meeting and you know just being around each other a lot. She was like, "Girl, you should come on my cooking show. I'm getting ready to start my first episode." And I was like, "Bet, like your food look good." Uh-huh. So I went over. She gave me a cookbook, gave me some of her seasoning that I use on every damn thing. Shout out to Sierra. Now, so, I was wondering, was that like the the spark to like you wanting to do your cooking show? Oh no, I had been wanting to do my cooking show because okay. I've been cooking like for on Instagram for like two years. No, I feel it. But I'm just now, like, having time to really dig into that now, too. Mm. So once I saw people, like, really, like, rocking with it, I was like, okay, maybe I should start actually putting my face with the cooking. Because mm. right now, if you go to my page, it's just, like, the plates. But I was like, I need to put my face with it so people can, like, get familiar with me cooking. No, that makes sense. Well, I appreciate it, man. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to supporting you however I can so you don't think I'm a hater because you just call me a hater. Yeah, support me in every way. Not just 80%. Most, most of the ways. Uh, most of the ways. I can't fuck with you. That's crazy, mm. bro. You my haters. She can't fuck with me. Cause mm. I can't, you got you the type like you got support one hundred percent of nothing. Hey, all or nothing. That's all I'm saying. You either on on this side one hundred percent or you not. That's crazy. You gotta rock or you, you gotta roll. You the same one to say everybody not gonna fuck with you. This or that. Like that's crazy. But now Is I, you a part of that everybody or what? Nah, I fuck with you. Okay, you wanna be here if I ain't fuck with you? Hey, listen. I don't know. I'm trying to see. Oh, I ain't scared. Of, you say you big on energy, man. Trust me, you will see. I wouldn't. I listen. I'm as real as it get. Trust me. Me too. You can't tell? Yeah, I can tell. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Well, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, for Crazy. real, man. Tell, tell the people how to follow you and all that, man. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Real Erica Banks, on Twitter at Real Erica Banks, and all of my music is under Erica Banks. Make sure y'all go get Ain't Got Time. It's out now. The video is out now. And I don't know why he's passing me that bottle, but the single is out.